everybody and welcome to this month's DIY Crafternoon. We will be making rolled book page heart art. Um, if you were able to pick up a kit at the library, your kit would contain um, a canvas, um, a container of paint, a container of Mod Podge, about 20 book pages, um, and uh, instructions. I'm just gonna quickly go over this for you today. It's actually a really simple craft and it's super cute. I decided that I did wanna paint my canvas. You don't have to, um, but I did wanna paint it and I painted mine red. And I've already rolled all of my book pages and set them out on my canvas so that they're ready to be glued. But first I'm just gonna show you um, how to roll the book page, super simple. So you're gonna take one of your pages and you don't have to cut the edge, it's okay to leave it how it is. And then you will need a paintbrush or these sponge brushes work really great with Mod Podge. Those aren't provided. Um, and you will also need a pencil, you'll have to grab that. And you'll also need a scissors. So the first thing I'm going to do is dip it in my Mod Podge. You don't need much. And mm, about an inch up from the bottom of your page, you're just going to spread some Mod Podge across the page. And then at the top of your page, you're also going to spread some. And that's going to help keep our rolls together. You're going to take your pencil at the bottom. You're going to grab your piece of paper and you're going to roll it around your pencil as tight as you can and keep rolling it. Roll it in that glue and then carefully roll your pencil up and keeping it nice and tight. Roll it up to the top where you have that glue again. And roll it back and forth and then secure it. And if it didn't get um, nice and secure and you have some paper kind of flapping up, you can just put a little more Mod Podge on the outside. And then I like to, it's gonna get your fingers dirty, but I like to kind of squeeze it shut so it's nice and flat. Okay, and then you're just gonna pop your pencil out. I'll demonstrate one more time. And um, I'm, this method would work with magazines too. So if you have a bunch of magazines laying around and you wanted to do some kind of art with them, same method. Um, you just might need a longer pencil or you'd maybe have to use a dowel instead. But same method for rolling magazine um, pages. I know I used to have tons of magazines laying around. So we're going to start at the bottom again. We've put our glue on. We're going to roll page nice and tight. Just roll the pencil. Trying to keep it straight. Although if you don't keep it straight, it still looks good. Because I had a few that weren't quite straight. Because you can cut them. Okay. And sometimes you get lucky and they do kind of look perfect. And pop out your pencil. So there you go. That's all you have to do is roll your book pages. Um, I think I rolled about between like 16 and 20 uh, to make my heart. So then once your book pages have dried, you're going to cut the rolls to fit your heart. So I kind of laid mine out here um, the way I want it glued. I actually used quite a few that I didn't have to cut at all, but I did obviously have to cut some for here. And I could add maybe a small, a small top on my heart. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, let's do that. And it doesn't have to be perfectly, precisely, exact the same size on each side, but roughly. I'm going to switch this one out and make this one a little bit bigger. Okay. 
Okay. So there I have my heart and I'm gonna be ready to glue it down. Another option that you do have um, is you could, if you wanted um, a line down the middle, you could cut all of your pieces in half. Um, so there would be a little line that looks cute too. I kind of like it more uniform where there isn't the line down the middle. So now that I have my outline, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my Mod Podge and I'm going to put it on the side of your roll that the seam is on so that we won't be able to see the seam. So we're gonna, again, dip in the Mod Podge and put quite a bit on there. Get it, get quite a bit of Mod Podge on. And then just place it on your canvas. And I'm gonna do one side and I'm gonna slip over to the other side with the top of my heart here. And feel free to kind of flatten out your um, rolls or whatever you need to do with them to make them look the way you want. Make sure they're nice and tight up right next to each other so you don't have spaces in between to see the canvas in the back. You don't want that. I realize a couple of my rolls don't have a lot of words on them. I don't know what I must have used pages that didn't have as many words on them. That's okay. And then I'm just going to finish up gluing everything and I will show you how it looks at the end. All right, so I have glued on all of my um, rolls in my heart shape, as you can see. And I'm just going to put a quick little layer of Mod Podge over the top just to keep them stuck together, super stuck together and to maybe give it a little bit of a coat, like a glossy coat. It's not glossy, it's matte. You all got matte Mod Podge, but still, give it a little shine. You don't have to do this, it's just what I'm gonna do. And then, once I have gotten that done, we just need to let it dry and then it is ready to hang up or display for Valentine's Day. So I hope you guys have fun making this. It's pretty easy, it's pretty fun, and you can kind of do what you like with it. Um, and I did see a couple people already posted online that they had done it this last weekend. So I appreciate seeing those uh, posts, it's nice to see. I hope you guys can join us again next month. Um, we'll be doing spring mason jar crafts. I'm not exactly sure quite yet what they will be, but they will be springy and they will be in mason jars. So um, I look forward to showing you guys how we'll be doing those. And that is always on the second Wednesday of the month and kits are available the first Wednesday of the month. So thank you guys again for joining me. I'm Carrie, and I wish you all happy crafting and a happy Valentine's.